At this point, you've simplified your algorithm to calculate the difference down to just three lines of code. But you can do even better. You can get it down to one line. In this exercise, we'll finalize our revisions to the difference algorithm and put it all together to calculate the score and display it to the user. Along the way, you'll learn about an important Swift concept, the difference between variables and constants. Let's dive in. All right, so let's get this down to one line of code. I'm going to delete all of this, and we're going to say difference equals target value minus current value. Again, this could potentially be a negative number. Luckily, there's a built-in function in Swift called apps, which is short for absolute value. And whenever you put inside the parentheses here, if it's negative, it's converted to a positive. Now, there's one more thing here. You'll see I get a warning here that says variable difference was never mutated. Mutated just means changed. Consider changing to a let constant. Replace var with let. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click fix, and it's going to change to let. That leads me to an important discussion about let versus var. It turns out that Swift makes a distinction between variables and constants. As we discussed in the previous section, you can change the value of a variable at any time. But with a constant, once you set it, you can never change it again. If you try, the Swift compiler will give you an error. The keyword var creates a variable, and the keyword let creates a constant. In the first version of your algorithm, you declare difference as a var or a variable because you were going to change the value based on the if-else statement. But in the latest version, you declared it as a let instead because once you set it to that initial value, you never change it again. When you declare a variable that will never change, it's a better practice to declare it as a let instead of a var. That will allow the Swift compiler to be a little bit smart about how it optimizes your code. This makes your intent clear, which in turn lets the Swift compiler understand your program better. A good rule of thumb is to use constants with let as much as possible, and only use variables with var if you know you need to change the value later. That way, the Swift compiler can optimize your code as much as possible. Now that we've calculated the difference, and we've done so with just one line of code, it's really easy to show the points. The points is just going to be 100 minus whatever the difference is. So let points equals 100 minus difference, because it makes sense with points, meaning if you do good, you should expect more points, right? And so we'll just modify this entire message to be you scored, and we'll use our little shortcut here to fill the points in here, points. And now we'll run. Trying to get as close as I can to 81, and pretty good. I was only one off, so I scored 99 points. Awesome.